Hi guys, it's Adam and welcome to 10 sales in 10 minutes. So uh, as usual, we're going to do 10 sales from lowest price to highest price um, in approximately 10 minutes. I never say in these updates that I'm going to do it within 10 minutes, but around the 10 minute mark. But anyway, if we want to get on and do this in 10 minutes, I've got to get started. So uh, here's this Star Wars Lego uh, minifigure, Special Forces Clone Trooper. Quite a cool looking minifigure this, I actually got it in a larger job lot. And yeah, I didn't know what this was, so I did have to do a bit of research on this. Uh, I'd never really seen one before. Um, so yeah, I don't even think I've seen it in like the Clone Wars or anything. I'm assuming this was from the Clone Wars TV show, but I've never seen it in there, so I don't know. Um, but yeah, 14 99 for that figure, so I was really, really happy to get 15 quid for a single LEGO minifigure. Really, really happy with that. Uh, next to this LEGO uh, Velociraptor from one of the older Dino sets. This wasn't from the previous release of the Jurassic World sets. I actually thought it was, um, but doing a little bit of research, I realised that it was actually from the previous Dino set. I don't know when they were re released. I'm thinking like mid-2000s, but I'm not 100% sure on that. So don't quote me on that, but you can always look on Brickset or wherever it is uh, to get some more information if you would like. But yeah, again, from the same LEGO haul, uh, 15 quid for that minifigure. Dino, uh, Dino LEGO sets always seem to do well. There's actually some Jurassic World sets um, available at the moment, which I am going to look to get on a discount if I can uh, as a long longer-term investment because I, I feel so, so confident that they'll do well in the longer term. Uh, judging by past sets, you know, all the dinosaur sets. Like, I can't name one dinosaur set that's actually completely flopped. Um, so, you know, as an investment. So, yeah, I'm going to definitely try and get my hands on a few of the current Jurassic World sets. However, it depends if I can get them at a discount and all that sort of stuff. But anyway, so that was that one. Quite happy with that sale. Next, some uh, crockery here, Art Deco uh, Parrot Coronet Wear. I showed some of these last week. I actually accepted an offer from $12.99. Uh, it was 10 quid the offer, plus my postage. But now I'm in profit on these, so I was happy just to accept the offer. Uh, really, really nice items. I think I mentioned last week that I really feel that these deserve a little bit better price than they get. Uh, because they are quite nice items there, as you can see. I'd really like these to be worth sort of the £20 mark, but if the market... Deter, you know, the market determines the price, so I don't, I don't necessarily determine the price. I've got to kind of base my price on what they are actually selling at, or else I'm just never going to sell them. So, yeah. But I hope that in the future, maybe the price comes up on these a little bit. And over time, obviously, Art Deco will become antique. And then, obviously, as I get older, Art Deco will become more and more rare, especially when, you know, it's 150 years old, you know, in 50 years' time. So... Yeah, hopefully over, over my lifetime, these will get a little bit more valuable, but we'll have to see. Um, so next, these are some uh, frame shooting prints. Didn't really owe me hardly anything from a job lot. And I wasn't sure whether I should list these or not. I was thinking, oh, I uh, can't be bothered listing these kind of things because they're pictures. And you know how you get when... When you've not listed something before, like it's a new niche and you start thinking to yourself, sometimes you'll have a lot of confidence within a new niche and then other times you'll think to yourself, oh, well, I, I don't know on listing these. You, you end up postponing them a little bit and they end up going in a pile of shame or whatever. Well, that's what I had with these. I wasn't sure whether I should list them or whether I want to list them. And I ended up just whacking them on the photography area and uh, ended up listing them. I accepted an offer of 12 quid on these uh, and obviously the £4.49 postage. And I was quite happy because, as I say, they didn't owe me much. And they were only small things. They weren't too hard to pack. They're not like great big pictures or anything. Uh, and they're just some prints, uh, the more and woodland shooting. Um, but I actually think I've uh, mis... Um, set, like that, that title is misspelt there because it's actually... I think it's woodcock shooting. Um, and I've put woodland. Sorry, I, I'm starting to smile now because I really, really emphasised the cock on that woodcock. Anyway, doesn't matter. But um, no, so I misspelt that. It should have been woodcock. Um, but yeah, well, move, moving on, moving on. Um, so Legacy of Cain, Blood Omen, PlayStation 1 game. I got this from a charity shop for 3 99 whacked it on auction. The disc was in pretty decent condition, actually. And I got um, 19 quid for that from 3 99 within a week. Uh, plus my postage, more than happy with that, uh, nice little quick flip there, 
um, on auction. So yeah, that's pretty cool. These were really, really nice. I was really, really happy that these sold so quickly. Vintage James Dixon and Sons stainless steel and silver handled uh, six times uh, sort of uh, dining knives. Uh, this is a nice little case, cased set. Um, I probably should have put dining knives in the title just because obviously I had that ban a few weeks ago. And if I put dining knives in the title, it would at least affirm to any bots or whatever that they are actually dining knives and not anything else. So, yeah, I've got 24 99 plus uh, postage fees. I think that that was kind of like a made-up price. I don't think I've really saw any solds for any similar items of these. So I think I just made up the price. I don't know, I, I can't remember, but I don't think they went so quickly that um, sort of made me think, oh, I've undersold them. Um, but I think we did go go within a week. So, yeah, quite happy with that. I got six different sets, uh, cutlery sets, um, including the carving knife set that got me the ban on eBay. Um, but that brought the ban hammer down, but um, I got six sets for 10 quid plus postage, which was a steal. So yeah, I basically made my money back and a bit of profit in these, and then the other five sets uh, when they sell, and there's actually a couple of bigger sets in, in that job lot as well uh, that are on for more money, uh, they're just going to be even more profit. So really, really happy with that. Next was something I got from the charity shop a while ago for, I think, about six quid. Um, and I got 24 99 plus post for this. I didn't send it into Amazon because it looked like a slightly too high rank for what I wanted to send in at. Maybe someone else would send it in at that rank, but I think it was quite high in DVD and Blu-ray. Um, but yeah, I just decided to whack it on eBay. I had this up originally for like 29 99 plus postage and brought it down, I think, to 24 99 uh, plus my postage. So I was happy just to get that out. Wasn't maybe the best margin. I maybe could have got... A little bit more for it and made a bit a bit more profit on that but I was just happy to get it gone and there's a little bit of profit in there still you know it's not the worst margin at the same time and I was just you know quite happy to get that gone onto its new home uh, next was this Laura Rashley um, Empire Paisley Dove Grey wallpaper I put this on auction 9.95 starting price I actually paid a fiver for these at the car boot but that just kind of shows my confidence um, with certain things on auction. Like, it just, certain things will just reach their price. Um, and it, it, you've got to be aware of what items will do that. Uh, video games, Lego, and things like that might do. I don't know about Lego anymore, but certainly video games. I mean, I think Lego does still command a decent price on auction. But uh, certainly, like, certain video games and stuff will do that, as uh, shown in this example here with the Legacy of Kane. Um, but yeah, this wallpaper, I just whacked it on auction, and uh, it went up to 26 quid, so from a 5 or I was safe. Um, if it had gone for 9.95, I would have basically either broke, broke even or made like a tiny profit. But, you know, that's just, as I say, it's just my level of confidence with these items on auction. Uh, and it went up to 26 quid, so I was quite happy with that. I look at auction like I look at stocks and shares, or I look at cryptocurrency. The market has a set price, right? And, you know, all these customers, are, or, you know, if there's a, a demand in the market, then these customers are going to bid each other up to a certain level that they're both comfortable kind of paying and don't want to go beyond. So if you can judge that level and you can see that there's a fair amount of demand then there, then that, that sort of item is always going to be worth that amount until the customers aren't prepared to pay that anymore and step it down a little bit. Just in the case of a cryptocurrency or a stock, if the supply and demand of a cryptocurrency, let's say, uh, if the supply, uh, sorry, if the demand for that cryptocurrency were to fall, then the price is going to fall because no one's buying it and maybe more people are selling it. It's like, this is why ev everything in like business is all connected, it's all interconnected. And the one main theme that runs throughout is supply and demand. That is like the basic principle of all these different markets of any different market and if you can understand supply and demand you will do really well i'm not saying i completely understand it but if you can understand it and you can capitalize on it then you're going to do really really well um, and it is basically just as simple as looking on supply uh, look at looking on completed and sold and seeing uh, you know, the demand for the item on auction opposed to buy it now and thinking, yeah, you know, I'm going to go with auction for this and, you know, see what it gets because I'm sure I could have got a bit more buy it now for that, but it was a quick flip on auction, so I'm quite happy. Um, 
Next is these vintage uh, 8 Wedgwood, the Street Sellers of London series, collector's plates, $29.99. I actually got these from a job lot of collector's plates for £10 plus postage. It didn't turn out to be the best job lot in the world. However, I did get these out of them and I got a few other plates out of them. But as I say, it wasn't the best job lot in the world. It wasn't like a really... Um, abundant job lot with loads of stuff in it and you know made me two three hundred quid or whatever but it was an okay job lot but as I say I got these out of them at uh, 29.99 um, yeah quite happy with that nice little set obviously a set to be looking out for especially even get these from the boot sale for five quid the set or something um, and yeah quite happy with that one uh, next is something that I was really, really happy when it sold. I paid a fiver for this in the charity shop. This is uh, Joseph Sankey and Sons. I'll get the mark. Oh, it's not a very good photo of the mark. But it's basically like a man with a little sort of sheet around him with a little trident or pitchfork or whatever you want. Well, it's actually a pitchfork, isn't it? Because a trident have, has those little extra things on, on the tips, doesn't it? Like swirly things on the tips. But anyway, that's the mark. And that is, whenever you see that mark, that's Joseph and Sankey, Joseph Sankey and Sons. I actually got uh, taught that by someone on a live stream uh, from YouTube. So I, so I owe whoever that was who said that um the the credit for that um but yeah 29.99 plus postage and obviously that was the reason that when i was in the charity shop i had i identified that and realized that it had value um so yeah 30 quid plus postage really really happy with that from a fiver nice little sale there uh, you'll have to excuse the royal mail size guide at the time i took this photograph i um basically i'd lost my tape measure but I wanted to reference the size because I like referencing the size on these items. Um, so I had to use my fairly old Royal Mail size guide. And it's probably in even worse condition than that. And half, and even another half of the numbers have been rubbed off and worn away by now because I've had it for so long. Um, but yeah, that was that sale. Really, really happy with that. And then finally, uh, something... I do get sales of these trays, but they don't go really, really fast. Um... And if you want to hold out for a half decent price, then you've kind of got to wait a little bit. Now, I did go in quite low. I'm, I'm, I'm assuming some of you will be thinking, you know, that is quite a low price. However, this was kind of a tinny one. It wasn't like a really heavy duty one. So I decided to go a little bit low on the price. You can, you know, for a lot of these trays, you can get 50 quid, you can get 40 quid. You might even be able to push a little bit more than 50 quid, but... Um, certainly, as I said, with this one, I just didn't think it was as quality of some of the ones I've had in the past that have got me 50 quid. So I ended up going for 30 quid plus postage. I got this in a, a brass wear haul or something like that anyway. Like with, it was with like a load of round chargers and tin plate kind of, um, I don't know what you call them, like hanging plates, I suppose, like tin hanging plates. Um, and yeah, I got 30 quid plus my post on that. So yeah, it was okay. It was a decent little sale there. And as you can see, there is a little bit of wear to it um, from the photo there, actually. So that might have aided my decision in going a little bit lower. But it is quite nice. You can see there's, like, elephants on it. I don't know where. Oh, there we go. You can see there's, like, these elephants and camels on it. Pretty cool there. Obviously, like, a Far Eastern kind of thing. Um, yeah, pretty happy with that sale. So I won't ramble any longer. I'll leave it there, guys. Thank you very much for joining me. If you did enjoy the video, then please do give it a like down below. And I will see you in the next one. So see you very soon, guys.